Welcome back to Gold Standard Culture. I'm Chris. I'm Dominic. Uh, we're this is the Culture Cast. This is our NBA podcast here on Gold Standard Culture. Uh, Dominic's a part of In the Moment Hoops, also in YouTube. Uh, his link will be in the description. So if you want to check out his stuff, that'll be linked below. The playlist for this podcast will be linked below, updated regularly. So if you want to go check that out, cover all things basketball. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look. Bucks higher. Uh, Doc Rivers, the day after firing him, yeah. literally every this was a shock to nobody. Right when they fired Adrian Griffin, everyone was like, "Yeah, they're gonna go get Doc Rivers," and so they did. Um, we both kind of feel the same way about Doc Rivers. Uh, our opinion kind of remains that Doc Rivers is a two thousands coach where there doesn't need to be too much schematically. It's just a tough shot making league, uh, not much spacing. You know. Whoever has the best ability to shoot and contest is probably going to end up being the best team. And, you know, Doc Rivers then doesn't really have to do much outside of manage egos. Yeah, um, but when you, you know, since Doc Rivers has entered that, you know, the 2010s and now um, you typically see every Doc Rivers led team crumbles in the playoffs. And yeah. I, you know, a lot of people uh, would probably say it's a coincidence. I'm sure. Uh, I don't think it is. I think Doc Rivers is just a, uh, an emotional coach in a good way. Like yeah. you want uh, players, coaches, everyone loves them. But at the same time, it's, you know, as a football Seahawks fan, Pete Carroll players coach, Pete Carroll schematically stuck in the nineties. His scheme does not work in today's NFL, but he wouldn't switch. He was stuck in his ways. Doc Rivers is kind of the same kind of guy. Um, he does things like it's, you know, back in the day and, He's like, you guys are the hoopers. You go figure it out. I'll take care of the rest. And the thing is, is every time the playoffs roll around, as we've said many times on this podcast, everything gets tighter. Everything gets, uh, you know, more clutch. Every shot becomes more impactful. And Doc Rivers is not really someone scheming up these uh, very tactical elite uh, sets and defensive schemes and, you know, it would not shock me if we look at the Bucks in the playoffs and see another sort of collapse because, yeah. you know, Doc doesn't have them, you know, really practicing those fundamentals, uh, putting them in the best situation to win. So um, that's how I'm feeling about it. How do you feel about Doc Rivers getting the hire here for Milwaukee? Same thing with you, man. I, I'm not a big fan of it. And I, I think as we've seen in the past, um, people have come in to take those jobs he's left and they've done significantly better. A hundred percent. You see the Clippers yeah. right after he leaves Western conference finals appearance with Tyron Lue, who is one of the best coaches in the league. If he leaves Philadelphia, Nick nurse comes in. They're on a tear right now. They're they looked way better with nurse. Yeah. They're significantly better. You look at Boston and maybe that's one that's a little different because Brad Stevens got into a really weird period with that team because Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce were gone. They were on the nets, but Brad Stevens came yeah. in did a phenomenal job as well. I, I can't, yeah. He was a great coach for a bit, and I just think every time this guy leaves, good stuff comes. It, it's really, it's really interesting. I don't see you can look at it as a coincidence. Three separate times, uh, I definitely think twenty twenty in the bubble is the perfect example of Doc Rivers collapsing. I they yeah. they were up three one. Nuggets adjusted, pace was a lot faster. And they came back and they won the whole thing. They literally, they won the series. And I think that was 100% on Doc. I think they were the, I think they were just saying the bubble was like the biggest issue with it. But it's like, I, I don't know. There's just yeah. so many times. I He also blew the Clippers lead against the Thunder, I believe. I don't remember, I think. And then they blew it against the Rock. Yeah, Rock. they've, every team they've pretty much like, they it's like, them. oh, they've got a chance or oh, they're yeah. winning and. Then it's like, oh no, they're not, you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like those Lob City Clippers, man. They they never could get past really big things. They 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 were up three one against James Harden and was it? Oh man, Josh, what's his name? I Smith, can't yeah. Josh Smith, yeah. Game seven, and he completely yeah. <laughs> murders them for like twenty seven and a quarter, and yeah. that's it. Your playoffs are gone, and it's like it's just insane that like stuff like that's happened so much with this one guy. Now, Boston, I can't think of too many collapses in the playoffs. Uh, not really. I mean, they played the heat. I can't really dock them too much. That heat teams, obviously one of the best teams ever, but 
It's hard to say, man. There's just a lot of coincidences. I'll say over the last 10 years, there's a lot of coincidences, like a lot of interesting stuff going on with him as a coach. So I'm not, as of, as of right now, I'm not a fan of this whatsoever for Milwaukee. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just that, again, it's like you you really see in the playoffs, you know, just because you're you're able to kind of handle egos and manage that, that's not all that coaching is. It's like, yeah. you know, Adrian Griffin might have all the fancy new age, you know, heavy wing, uh, wing dominant sets that take away the three, which is the most impactful shot in the game right now. But it's like. There's more to coaching than one thing. That's coaching something where you have to be spread pretty thin uh, or not pretty thin, but pretty wide yeah. and, you know, cover a lot of ground with a lot of stuff. And um, Doc Rivers just isn't that. Doc Rivers may be spread pretty wide when it comes to emotional leadership, but, uh, you, you know, X's and O's every year, it just goes to shit every single season. He can't get over the hump. And again, like you go back when, yeah, uh, into 2008, sure. You know, they have Paul Pierce, still yeah. kind of prime Ray Allen and prime Kevin Garnett. What are we talking about here? You know, yeah, exactly. for them, that's like, for that era, that's like KD Warriors. So <laughs> exactly, yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, sure, we could sit here and say, okay, you know, look at, look at Steve Kerr out here, you know, coaching up a storm. But it's like, at the end of the day, well, Who you know, this team. Yeah, exactly. At that point, you know, if we're looking at 2019, 2020, if KD is still here now in the Bay, yeah, now we're looking at, you know, is that team as overpowered as it was in like 2017? Yeah, exactly. no. no way. Yeah. But back then, 100% was nobody had a counter. Nobody could still counter the the Warriors without Kevin Durant. So, exactly. uh, well, granted, Cleveland did, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about that. No. Um, but yeah, Doc Rivers, interesting hire. Not too big of a fan of it. Um, I think we'll see come playoff time, the Doc Rivers experience once more. Uh, Sadly enough. You know, but also, like, I, I think Doc's a great guy, so it would be oh, cool to see uh, yeah. the Bucks potentially lift the curse, lift the Doc Rivers curse. Yeah, so. no, definitely a great basketball mind, 100%. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm with you on that, man. It's just he's had a lot of mishaps over the last 10 years on the come playoff time, I'll say that. Uh, definitely – Definitely a solid regular season coach, though. But I mean, I don't know. I, I think obviously the best coaches are. I don't know. It, they shine it, in the playoffs, yeah. They'll shine most of the time. So we'll see on that. Uh, that's an interesting note for the Bucks, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, hundred percent.